everybody today I'll be talking about inflation because it's been happening a lot really recent uh, recently and I'll also be talking about how uh, governments stop uh, stop well not stop but decrease inflation so first of all what the heck is inflation because that word is a like bounced around everywhere it's kind of like an umbrella term but most people don't really understand fully what it is so the most simple explanation that everybody says most of the time is it uh, it's when the supply is less than demand so supply is how much of an item exists and demand is how much people want the item so uh, if the demand is higher than supply uh, the supply the supply will have to be raised in price the company that produces the supply so that they can fulfill their needs and uh, that leads to an inflation but uh, there is also something called a recession when the demand is less than the supply but uh, it's not really important in our topic today and uh, I have an analogy for you and this analogy is used a lot of times so it's not my original analogy so let's take a very simple economy let's take for example a place there's uh, uh, two stores selling food and uh, the people don't have money to buy, uh, purchase this food they purchase uh, or either make stuff by themselves because they don't have enough money but let's say the f uh, the central bank of that country uh, in America it's called called Fed uh, but in other countries I'm not sure what it's called but, but I'll take America for example because America is America so let's say the Fed of this country uh, gives everybody a lot of money so now that money can be spent in these two food stalls now these two food stalls will need to produce more so they'll have to so they'll have to uh, um, higher the prices and then that leads to people spending uh, more because the prices are higher so people will lose more money and then it will lead to people not having enough money to spend again so they will have to resort to making their own stuff and prices drop and uh, when prices drop really low that is a recession <laughs> but when prices uh, go higher that is inflation and um, but don't get me wrong inflation is not a bad thing in small quantities inflation means that the fa uh, that the country's uh, uh, finance is going up it's working when there's nothing to spend and like when people don't spend the country is in like base it's basically stopped in that progression state they can't go farther in uh, their progression states now let's talk about interest rates because this is one of the main ways that fed the fed or any other national banks try to stop inflation so let's talk about interest rates first let's say I lend my sister $50 uh, she has to go to a mall or something and then she uh, if she pays me back $50 that is a fair trade I get $50 she gets $50 but uh, you I won't make any money out of it and our society is a capitalist society so we need money to function as human beings to do anything for uh, like food and stuff so I give an interest rate to her let's say 5% so she has to pay me an extra 20 uh, an extra the uh, 5% in with yeah 25 25 2.5 yeah 2.5 and she'll have to pay me an extra 2.5 from her 50 so that's 52.5 and that is interest rates and how does interest rates help stop inflation so let's say there is an uh, the some country has really bad inflation so the Fed or National Bank I'll just be calling it Fed from now on so if I say Fed that also means National Bank Fed uh, will increase the interest 
interest rates. So when uh, interest rates also means the interest rates in banks when you put in money to save. So for example, in a bank, you put in money and your money doesn't just stay there. Your money will increase in value. Let's say for example, the bank has a 1% interest rate per year. That's just an example. So if you put uh, like $50 at the end of the year, your money won't just be $50, it will be 52.5. But with higher interest rates, that will give you more money too. So if there were 10%, that would mean you would have uh, ten, uh, 55 by the end of the year. But that also means when people borrow money from the bank, there will be a higher interest rate. So people have to pay more. And that's, uh, people don't really want that. People want cheap prices. So that will incentivize them to not uh, borrow money from the bank. So that means less spending. So less spending means less demand and less demand means higher, uh, lower prices. But a lot of people who don't understand interest rates slash inflation, they don't, they are very against raising interest rates. But if you think of how it will lead to in the future, it's an amazing thing for the country if they try to stop inflation. Because let's take the Great Depression of America, for example. That was one of the worst times for America. And that's why America is trying to like stop uh, from inflation getting that bad and becoming a recession. But that wasn't just a recession. A recession is like a midpoint. There's even an even worse state, which is a depression. And a depression is absolutely very bad for a country. Now, some countries are way beyond a depression state, like Zimbabwe, for example. You need like, uh, there's a running joke that says everybody in Zimbabwe is a billionaire in Zimbabwe money because America uh, America has the US dollar which every single country uses to trade so they have a lot of power on the world so that would mean they can inc uh, make huge inflations onto a country like Zimbabwe and making their money basically worthless and that leads to the end of my presentation if you have questions you can ask me no. So my question is that inflation is only happen when the demand is uh, less than the uh, supply Hi. less than demand. Yes, yes. Yeah, when and what is the reason that uh, the supply can be less than demand? Because people have too much money to spend. Have too much money. Yes. So when people have too much money, it. It is good for it, the, the society. It is good for the economy, but when people have too much money, that will also make prices too high. It's it's good if people have a lot of money and there are also a lot of supply, but if people have a lot of money and there's very less supply, that's a bad thing for the economy. Because you can't, uh, everything is good in certain amounts. If you put too much into it, there will be a problem. Everything will have a problem if there's too much of it so if they can produce more more supply to meet the, the demand then okay. yes then that is good for the economy but if they can't produce enough supply for the demand that is bad for the economy and do you know any problem that the uh, uh, we cannot produce more to meet with the demand uh, to more to meet with the ma the demand uh, any problems with it let's say uh, the situation when uh, in America when COVID just started and the lockdown started people were purchasing everything in the supermarkets they were trying to stop uh, stock up their supplies because they would stay home a lot and they would also uh, put like they would be very afraid to spend their money so that made the supply go down very fast like some places ran out of tissue paper some places ran out of water meat vegetables and stuff like that that was when supply was very much less than demand okay, okay thank you goodbye <laughs>